I'm just going to put this to good use and try to make a viral video of me destroying my GoPro 8. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> What's up, lifelong learners? It's your boy, Mr. Hang, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Ulanzi Metal GoPro 8 cage. I grew up pretty hood, and I was asked to join gangs, but always respectfully declined. Why? Because I was a schoolboy. I knew that education was my way out of the hood. At age 25, I started my dream job as an educator. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So, consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. So when you open up the box, you're gonna get something like this. So you're gonna get this cage right here, and then it has a cold shoe up here and a cold shoe on the side right there. And then there will be a slot where you can plug in a USB-C into your GoPro. You will also get this little thing right here because this is the finger that goes down on the bottom of the GoPro cage. And then you will also get this tool and these two little screws right here that will help you mount the finger onto the bottom of the cage. So this is how you would fully assemble this. You would slide the back plate out like that. You will have your GoPro and it won't have this uh, battery compartment door that's gonna be unhinged. And so that you can slide this in here. But first, before I slide that in there, I need to also take out this part right here. So the trick to sliding this plate out that way is to press down and then push that way. So I press down like this and I'm gonna push and I'll be able to unlock like that. It's a little bit tough, but you'll get used to it. But yeah, press down and then slide that way. You are going to place the GoPro inside the cage and then you will slide this. You'll see grooves, okay? Cause you should be able to see how the uh, USB-C part right here is going to match this opening right there, like that. So you slide in and there it is, the opening for the USB if you're deciding to power it up with a uh, battery grip. And then you can uh, slide the back plate back on, slide it in just like this. Now you will have a filter and a uh, aluminum alloy cage that is going to protect your GoPro. And I'm going to put my 52 millimeter polarizer on here. So now I'm going to take the finger and put it on the bottom like that, but I don't necessarily have to. Now I'm gonna go to uh, get my battery. That's a grip to place on underneath this GoPro right here. Let me, let me come back in a little bit. Zoom. All right, so I am back. Oh man, I love this autofocusing of the Canon EOS RP. So I have my battery grip right here. So I am going to put this quarter inch thread right there, bam. I have myself a vlogging setup where I also have this little tripod. Goes on the bottom of the Ulanzi BG2. Again, link is in the description below. And then I don't need this finger mount. And I have my wire that comes with this battery grip. Or well, it's not a battery grip, but it, I don't know what the technical term is. It technically is a battery and it's a grip for the GoPro. So you slide that in there and you will see that this GoPro is all set up for vlogging all day long. So I would also put my Rode Wireless Go on top right here, but I'm wearing the Rode Wireless Go right now to be able to record better audio. So yeah, you can just vlog like this all day long and you will have a shoe compartment for your microphone and another cold shoe compartment for your lights if you decide to use lights. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And I wanted to say that uh, I bought the wrong one because I was hoping to get the version that has the bottom portion that will allow me to use my mic adapter from the GoPro 7, 5, 6, and 7 to attach to the GoPro 8 and then put a light and a mic on here and I can vlog like that all day long, but I can't see myself. That's why I have my Osmo Action. Actually, let me get that for you. So here's my Osmo Action. And I love the setup of this and I have the mic adapter, which is super small compared to the GoPro 5, 6, and 7 and GoPro 8 mic adapter. It's just, it's just gigantic. I mean, let me just take this out. All right, look at this. Look at, look at the difference between the two. Here's GoPro. Here's the Sonova adapter. 
<laughs> the size difference is ridiculous. So that's why my main vlogging setup is now the Osmo Action and my GoPro 8 is actually going to be my B-roll camera. And then also I plan to get the media mod, so make sure you subscribe for that and test it out, compare these two things, see how this GoPro 8 will compare with this Osmo Action when they are pitted up against each other for vlogging. I know that the GoPro 8 for sure has better image quality in low light than the Osmo Action. I don't know how GoPro's doing it, but they, I mean, it's like pretty much the same size sensor and all that, but I don't know how the GoPro 8 is in low light much better than the GoPro 7 and the Osmo Action. So uh, I'll just, you know, I was planning to make a video of this, but if you're gonna go for a small action cam for your first one and you're a vlogger, go with the Osmo Action. And if you are a person who is doing action sports, definitely go with the GoPro 8. The reason why is because you have that stabilization. But some people are complaining about, well, what if I break the lens and maybe then get a seven. If you're worried about that, get, just get the GoPro seven. That's my recommendation for now. But yeah, I can, I can vlog with this all day long if you, you don't need the front facing screen. But for me, I do because I'm all about composition of where I point to something, I need to be able to see it. And this little front screen is so much better after the update. If you have any questions, you know, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to do uh, what that little guy is uh, telling you to do, like right there. And uh, I'm gonna be going into the New Year's with uh, me destroying this cage and trying to destroy the GoPro 8. So make sure you subscribe for that one. Tell your friends because uh, the problem is I bought the wrong cage and I wanna send it back, but I got it from China. So it's gonna cost me like $14.25 to just ship it with no tracking, whatever. And this thing, this cage is like around $30. So I'm just going to put this to good use and try to make a viral video of me destroying my GoPro 8. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Cause that's gonna be pretty funny if I can or cannot destroy the GoPro 8 with this aluminum cage. All right, well, I guess that's it for this video. So we're gonna say goodbye. You know how we do it, lifelong learners. Get your hands ready. And if you're new to this channel, get your hands ready as well. We're gonna say goodbye now with rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.